is coronary heart disease actually reversible? Is coronary heart disease actually reversible? May be one of the most important questions in all of medicine today. And when I was a boy in medical school, uh, and even now, the dogma is absolutely not. This, the, the, the two words that were just so ominous, this is a relentlessly progressive disease. These plaques just get bigger and bigger. We don't know what causes them. It's probably just part of getting old. Everybody gets it. Uh, absolutely. And reversing, not a, not a possibility of that. And that's the dogma that's being taught. Well... As uh, all dogma should be put up for examination, Dr. Dean Hornish, Dr. Colwell Esselstyn, and other physicians have put their patients on whole food plant-based diet, and lo and behold, day after day of blood flow through those arteries without the fat and the cholesterol and the, and the uh, oxidizing vegetable oils and the high fructose corn syrup and the phosphoric acid from the cola drinks and the, um, the chemical assault that we inflict on our arteries um, and the free radicals from all the processed foods uh, that really drive cholesterol uh, into the artery walls. Well, that's gone on a whole food plant-based diet. And as the blood flows by day after day filled with antioxidants and phytonutrients and stabilizing molecules, those angry plaques that are uh, prone to develop clots that uh, block blood flow and cause heart attacks and strokes, they absolutely start to regress. They, they melt down. And uh, not only that, the damaged endothelial lining of the arteries that was so battered and, and abraded from the uh, dietary assault um, that reestablishes itself. The stem cells from your bone marrow that are flowing by, they start sticking on the surface of the plaque and a new endothelial lining establishes itself and those plaques absolutely can regress. They re-epithelialize and it turns back pretty much into a, a normal healthy artery. It may never go back to normal, but the, but the uh, fact is, well, back to its original state, but the fact that it smooths down and re epithelializes means it's most it's a highly unlikely ever to form a blood clot and cause the heart attacks and strokes that we all fear. So the answer is uh, to the question, can coronary artery plaques resolve? Uh, they certainly can regress. There's no question about that. That's been well shown before and after. Angiograms clearly show that. Before and after myocardial perfusion scans clearly show that. Arteries open up, plaques get smaller. So yes, reason for hope uh, for people who've had heart attacks, have it in their family, have angina they're they're all telling you clean up your diet go to uh, uh doctor i would the folks who are in that category i say get dr esselstyn's book on preventing and reversing heart disease read it cover to cover and follow that instruction to the letter to a t and if you do that you've got the best chance of that plaque progressing we'll be surprised if it doesn't so contrary to the dogma that i learned and that Young medical students are still learning today, and almost every cardiologist believes uh, absolutely plaques certainly can regress, and that's a reason to have great hope to for the restoring of your body. But treat it nice. Uh, with, uh, talk about food being medicine. Boy, it's really true. And if you've got artery disease, every salad you oh that's medicine for my arteries. That kale over there that's medicine for my arteries. Let medicine be your food, as Hippocrates said. So um, yes, uh, reason for hope, and it's right on your dinner plate there. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here, announcing our new format for our Q and A with Dr. K. Each day, Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our daily Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.